Hello everyone, my name is Philip and today I would like to talk about ranking functions in Spotfire. There are three ranking functions in Spotfire, dance rank, rank and rank real. I saw a lot of questions related to ranking when users were unable to perform calculation because of some specific ranking that they needed. I hope that my video will help you with that. OK, let's start with function rank. As you can see here, rank returns an integer value ranking of the values in the selected column. The first argument is the column to be ranked. Let's try it. But at first, I want to show you my data table. As you can see, I have four columns in my table. Order number sales, territory, and country. Let's apply rank function to sales column. And let's name it rank sales ascending. Confirm. OK. Let's also change a sorting. OK, now the sorting is based on our new ranking column. As you can see, the ranking is by default ascending. Therefore, the order with the lowest sales amount has the first place. We will change it in a minute. But at first, let's check also how rank function handles ties. For instance, these rows. Uh, as you can see, they have the same number and the higher one from the two options. In other words, there is 30 two times, but there is no 31st rank. Let's create new column which will be descending. So data and add calculated column. Rank, sales, comma and the word des as descending in quotes. Let's call it uh, rank sales descending. OK. Let's again change sorting. And we can see that order with the biggest sale has the first rank. There are again some exactly same sale amounts. It is still handled in the same way. We have basically two other options, right? We can either say that we want to have both as 27th or one as 26th and one as 27th. Spotfire offers us these possibilities. Let's try them. I'm gonna edit the previous expression. At first, I'm going to search for rank function. I want to show you that you don't have to remember all of these possibilities, that they are written in the help. Uh, see? When you do not specify the time method, the minimum is selected as we saw it in the data. I will add this to the name of the column so we can see all options next to each other. So, ties minimum. OK, apply. Let's create new calculated column. At first, I will copy the expression from the previous one. insert calculated column and now I paste the expression and change the time method to maximum. Uh, and I just need to give it some name. Confirm. OK.
Ok, both rankings are the same except the ties. When there is a tie, in our last column, the maximum rank is selected. In our case, we don't have two 26th, but two 27th ranks, right? So, last remaining option is to select first. It gives the first found tie the lowest rank value and continues with the following rank value for the next tie. It basically means that we should have 26th and 27th. Let's quickly create one column for it too. So, add calculated column and we can insert recent expression and only change the tie method to first. Let's name it rank sales descending ties first. And it's done. Good. If we don't want to receive outcome as integer, but as real, then we can use rank real. Advantage of rank real is that we have another option for tie, and that's average. Let's try it. Add new calculated column, and let's name it rank real descending. And ex expression is rank real sales death and uh, let's copy the time method okay okay let's check it Now we have 26 and 5 tenths at the both ranks and also all other numbers are not integers anymore. We didn't talk about the dense rank, right? Let's also create it. Dense rank, sales and death. And name will be dense rank descending. We cannot change the tie method here. Ties are given always the same rank value. Hmm. It will be better to see it in the data. So let's click on OK. It might look like that the dense rank is working in the same way as rank with minimum time method. However, this is not true. Let's check the highlighted rows and the classic rank function. And the dense rank function. Hmm. What does it mean? Well, if we use dense rank, then the highest ranking number equals the number of unique values in the column. So I can check that in my data set I have 2214 unique values and 2823 records. Okay, but often we need to rank uh, in certain groups, right? In my case, it would be nice to rank the sales within the country, for instance. It means that each country would have its own ranking. Let's try it. Okay. 
we can reuse, for instance, rank with minimum dice method. The only thing that we need to do is add another column. In my case, country. And let me name it quickly. Okay. Now let's ch change sorting to see the result clearly. It means to have sorting based on country. And our new ranking. Okay. Now we can check that each country has its own ranking. There are a lot of orders from USA. Then we see UK, which again starts from the number one or first ranking. Then Switzerland, and again it starts from the number one or first ranking, etc. Okay, that should be enough for today. But I would like to create one more video about more advanced expressions with ranking and over functions. If you are interested in it, please click on subscribe button and like this video. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye.